is Aviv and Jared from West Coast Shaving, and today we're here to talk to you about Ariana and Evans. A and E. A and E. What can you tell us about A and E? So A and E is the family business of the man known as Peter Charcalis. And is that not his name? I, I, no comment. No comment. Um, so. Uh, Peter and, and his family has got a lovely wife and daughter who have uh, joined many of, of the New York City uh, wet shave events and probably others across the country now too. Uh, the three of them work uh, to crank out some fantastic stuff. Uh, Peter has long been uh, a wet shave enthusiast. He has uh, Shaving with Charky YouTube channel, which many of you may have come across at various points. Um, Peter's uh, most gifted talent in, in all of wet shaving, in my opinion, is his nose for sense. He really, really uh, understands how to make them uh, compelling, sophisticated, distinct, and uh, I find a lot of uh, the themes that he uses are related to his extensive world traveling, which I think is part of his job, or at least, you know, his job. Um, the, the scents are far ranging. Uh, we have here. Do you two, mean his job, like outside of what shaving? Yeah, yeah, his like job, job. Mm. You know. Uh, so he travels around, and, and his scents kind of speak and incorporate to those travels. And, and um, his latest product here, and so we have two of the most recent soaps, is also in a base that he has now made and designed himself. It happens to be one that combines tallow and goat's milk, along with some other interesting ingredients. Um, it has bentonite clay, which I happen to be a fan of. It also has beeswax in it. Um, I was involved as uh, a tester with the development of the various iterations along the way, and um, it, was, it was really kind of um, awesome to see just how uh, the addition of that little bit of beeswax kind of, for me, took it to the next level performance-wise. What did it do for you? Uh, it created like just extra, this bit of extra slickness and bit of extra cushion uh, that, um, again, I, I can't quantify it, but there definitely was for me a um, a positive impact for sure. Look at that. <laughs> who who are you? Who am I, right? <laughs> He's doing it, folks. Um, again, I think I've mentioned this with some other brands too. It's it's really something. Um, special when you can get the performance that you expect from any kind of top soap with some really outstanding scents that are unique, that um, have depth. You can uh, tell as you're lathering it, the scent changes and evolves a bit, opens up. Uh, and I think you know his products accomplish all of that. And it's also awesome as an additional side that his family is involved in kind of helping the operation too. So. Mm. Um, and, and Peter, as I said, besides the YouTube channel, he has been very active in supporting wet shave enthusiasts and community. Uh, he's been involved in a lot of the meetups, especially in the Northeast, for years and years and years. Uh, and so, you know, a, a real presence in the wet shave community. That was a good little lather for me. I, I enjoyed that. If the badger funk wasn't so strong, I might be able to speak a little bit more. Oh, that's the scent. Mm, oh, that's a sense. Yeah, Sorry. Uh, his world travels include uh, the badger farm. <laughs> no, it's uh, yeah, we, we've got a new knot here that uh, we're punishing all the all the soaps with today, and punishing ourselves with that knot. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that sense, Grecian horse. What do you get out of that? Uh, again, in general, we, in general, we play this game every <laughs> Good, time. Good, bad. <laughs> no, I like it. I like it. It's a, it, the other scent that we we smelled earlier was a little bit more spicy. I like mm -hmm. something a little bit more subtle. Mm -hmm. This for me is a little more subtle and it's uh I like this scent. I would use this. Yeah, I would use this one too. Um I like the other one as well. Uh a little clockwork orange thing going there in the logo. Um but this is a uh a cologne scent that I don't know, isn't boring to me. I'm mm. often bored by cologne scents. I know I know I'm not in the majority there at all, but um I like this one. We launched a few of their soaps. Mm -hmm. We're launching more of their soaps. Right. We have all of their aftershaves coming. Not all right. of them. All of them that match the shave soaps. Right. Uh, and he's had some of the scents that we're getting are scents that have been around in, in a 
prior vegan base that uh, now are being incorporated into the, his his new soap base. So some of the scents are brand new, like uh, Grecian Horse, um, uh, Orange Levert Orange, or Orange Levert. What did I What did I do here? I don't know. Some kind of orange and um, uh, Asian Plum. Those are uh, some of the right. latest and greatest. But then there are others uh, like Cacao Lucuria, which is a, a, a really decadent kind of chocolatey type scent. I happen to be a real sucker for it. I absolutely love it. And it was released previously in a vegan base and now it's going it, uh, to be on our site in the latest tallow and goat's milk base. Excellent. That is A&E from West Coast Shaving. Thanks for watching. See you soon.